Hello everybody. Uh, today what we're going to do is simply create a SIF share from the Blue Arc Titan. Based on our previous uh, YouTube sessions and, and online video sessions, what we've also done is created a virtual server. So just to recap, there it is there, Enterprise Virtual Server 1 with an IP address of 192.168.13.127 and that is our virtual server that is publicly facing onto our publicly uh, our public IP network. The next thing we did there, if you actually have a look at the details based on a recap, is we've created a file system, there it is there, EVS1 file system, and that's mounted and has been assigned and it's two terabytes at the moment. That's there, EVS1 file system. So what we want to do is very very straightforwardly is put a SIF share, for example, straight onto the root of this file system as an example. We already have under file systems um, an NFS mount that we did in an earlier section so we're actually doing true multi-protocol here. So what I'm going to simply do is go to home on the systems management unit, go to file services and all I actually want to do is based on uh, the, the settings that I've just gone through at the moment is create a SIF setup or a SIF serving name inside an Active Directory or we could use a work group but we're going to do Active Directory today and then simply add in my SIF share into that Active Directory from the Titan. So very very straightforward I'm going to hit add and this is already remembered our virtual server EVS1 so I'm going to call this one EVS1 SIFs and what I'm going to do server is basically give it that name and so basically that would be part of the UNC path if you're mapping to it or you can do it by physical IP address. So the next thing I'll do is add this into our Active Directory log myself in and again what we can do here is actually put this particular uh, SIF serving name into the Active Directory in a folder and again we can follow certain DNS or domain name service suffix for Active Directory. Pretty straightforward 101 SIFs. So this is going to add this virtual server called EVS1 SIF server into the Active Directory and at this point in time there are no SIFs shares from that. That's just acting as a server. So if I went to my network neighborhood and browsed you would actually see that name there. You click on it there would be no SIF shares actually there. So well, the next thing I want to do is basically add a SIFS share onto this. Really, really straightforward. So again, I go back to File Services. I go to SIFS Shares. And all I simply have to do is click on the button down here called Add. And again, give it a SIFS name. So I can give this one, call this one SIFS1. And again, it's going to be browsable through EVSR. Um, network neighborhood and you'll see this mounted from there and what I'm going to do is simply just put it onto the root of our file system, our VS1 file system. We have a load of other options here, Max users should recognize that, follow uh, show snapshots so when I browse onto that folder you'll see the snapshot directories and again we have a load of options around things like following sim links and using access control configurations so we can specify by user and group by domain inside the active directory certain schema or groups that you set up uh, different permissions. The other key advantage here, virus scanning can be done offloaded to a virus scanner, not on board the Titan or Mercury, but basically to a third party virus scanner. And then we have the ability to even cache SIF uh, serving requests through a cacheable option that um, we are going to talk about later on. So let's hit OK, and that's going to create a share called SIFS1. And I can literally straightforward go straight to this now either by going into the network neighborhood and browsing it or by just typing the UNC path which in this case would be our IP address or I can give it the SIF serving name it really doesn't matter but for simplicity 13.127 and basically the SIF shares name that I've created here SIFS1 so what that's really going to do is just open up straight onto that share it's going to ask me to authenticate and basically what that's going to do uh, do is allow me to browse as if it was a local uh, there it is, so I'm just going to authenticate, there I am in the Active Directory
and that's using the Windows 2008 Active Directory as authentication and there it is it's brought up my very very straightforward SIFS share as you can see here there's some directories on here dot snapshot and that's a hidden directory and that's actually shown there and then I can copy files and folders and bits and pieces up here as well so I could actually copy very straightforward or create files and folders in here so I just add one in just for example a bitmap file and that's just created straight onto here or I can add a very very straightforward text file or copy things up here and allow that to do that I could open that file like some rubbish data save it and I'm just using native SIFs straight off the bat there if I want to have a look from a very very straightforward perspective on the file types and things like this I can also do that so you can see here that it's showing very clearly the file types inside that SIF share so that's all we're going to cover off a very very straightforward SIFs 101 share straight off the Blue Arc Titan thank you